Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we're doing the LCI tail lights on the M2. Super excited, these are OEM BMW LCI tail lights. So, I have all my instructions here. And you guys, there's a lot of coating <laughs> that we're gonna have to do to make these work. All of the coating up here is warm and cold monitoring and changing things to LED, which I actually have already coated. There is some mapping, some mapping coating that we need to do. So we're gonna do that last. Um, I'm not gonna do the coating right away. I'm gonna install the lights and then turn it on and see what kind of errors come up and go from there. I learned how to do all of this from the Beamer Post forums. The forums are your friends, you guys. If you're learning how to do anything or trying to figure out how to do something, go on the forums. Beamer Post is a great place to learn about that. I'm gonna link all this down below for you. But here's everything that you need. Parts list, two six pin connectors, and then the left and right tail lights. Those are the part numbers. Tools you'll need. Instructions, like I said, all linked below. Here are my new pin connectors. These are six pin connectors. And those are the part numbers. So I'm gonna take this out of the box and show you guys what it looks like compared to these ones. I do have LEDs in my tail light, so I'm gonna try and reuse that LED bulb from this tail light assembly and put it in a new one. But these are all just normal bulbs. These are just normal halogen bulbs. And you can really tell in photos and in video that the tail lights just really don't look that great. They don't look that vivid. So yeah, bulbs are definitely not the way to go. This is similar to like if you do the F30 LED tail lights, they just look a ton better. So we have the LEDs here. These also have a little more of like a 3D dimension to them, whereas those are just rather flat. So we're improving the design and the lighting. It's gonna look a ton better. Let's go ahead and pull these out of the box and I'm gonna show you up close what it looks like compared to these ones. All right, so these are the LCIs. I'm gonna leave the clear film on for right now until I fully install them. But you can see the reverse is now down here rather than up there on that one. And you have this giant true LED bar. Uh, these are all LEDs in this light. So it's just much, much cleaner, much cleaner setup. The install is really easy when it comes to just putting these in, like physically putting them in to 10 millimeter bolts, one up there, one over here. Really simple, just pop up in the trunk and you'll see it. Just be careful when you pull the tail light out, this is what's holding it in on this side. So you have to be very, very careful when you're pulling it out, not to hit your paint or anything. Just take your time with it, don't rush it. And then this is our new connector, which is a six pin versus the old ones, which I believe are an eight pin. So you have to repin this. Now I will leave links down below for you guys to directly purchase this from where I purchased it, but you can just get all of this stuff from the dealership as well as the new pin connector. Here's the part number for the new plugs that you're pinning into. So we will be doing some new pinning, which is really quite simple. You just take the pin chart and we're pinning it from eight to six. Now I also have some things spliced into the right side for my diffuser light. So we're gonna leave all of that. We're not gonna touch any of that. We're just gonna repin it plug it in, coat it, and we should be okay. I'm gonna start with the left side, and then we'll work on the right side. And then to access the LED reverse bulb, you actually have to take off this plastic piece right here, and there's just these little pins. These little pins right here, you just take off all those, and then this whole plastic piece comes out, and you can just take out that bulb. I think that bulb is gonna work in the new ones. So we have full LED. So that's what I'm talking about. You can see these are all halogen bulbs in here in the guts. And this is the LED that we're gonna be taking out. However, looking at it, so this is the only halogen bulb that's in the new LCI tail lights. I'm gonna have to order one of these in LED. This will be the only halogen bulb for right now because the one, the LED that's in the reverse bulb for the pre-LCIs is a different bulb. You can see right here. So obviously this one won't work in here. You gotta order one like that. So that's what I'm gonna do. For right now, the reverse lights will be halogen. I'll just pop them back out later and replace this with an LED. All right, so I'm going over everything right now and you can see my connector, their connector, 
and that's how you're setting it up. So these two wires that remain in the original plug, you don't use those. You actually just tape this off or just let it hang uh, out of the way. And then there's also this guy with these two brown ones. When you go to LCI, you don't use this one at all either. So we'll have two extra plugs just hanging there. You can take the wires out and just wrap them up with electrical tape, but we're just gonna leave it in just in case we ever go back to the pre-LCI. So I'm gonna start removing these wires and in order to do that, it's actually pretty simple. You just use the pin tool, the pry tool to pick these out and I'll show you guys how I do it. But you pull those out and then you repin it into the new one with the orientation that they have on here. And if you don't wanna use that, you can actually use the chart if you wanna use that. I'm gonna start pulling that apart and repinning the new one and then I'll show you my progress. All right, so to expose the pins, there's these two little plastic things. They're folded down like that. You just peel them up like this. And then you'll see on top here, there's these two yellow and black wires right on each side of that brown cable. Those are the two that you're gonna leave in here because we're not gonna use those. We're gonna end up pulling out the brown one, that gray one right there, and then all the ones down here. And in order to pop these out, you're just gonna push in with a little pin tool. You're just gonna push in from the top and then push it out from that side and the pin should just come out. And then you can go ahead and throw those pins into the new connector, obviously with the orientation that was showed in the chart. All right, super easy to pop those out. As you can see, I still have the two yellow and black ones plugged in. Like I said, we're just gonna wrap this one off and let it hang. So these six pins right here are the ones that we're gonna be using in the new plug. And I'll go ahead and throw them in in the proper orientation and then show you guys what that looks like. All right, new wires are in the plug and you literally just put those in all the way. Make sure that you can see the actual silver through there. And then there's just this little locking piece that you just slide over that locks everything into place. And then you're good. This is it for this side. So we just go ahead and plug this into the light. I'm gonna go ahead and tape some of this stuff up so it's a little bit cleaner. Plug this guy into our new LCI tail light. Then we'll just go ahead and install the tail light just like we pulled it out. And then we will work on the other side and then we'll do the coating. Bam, got it in. Also the reverse lens is like a lot darker. It just has a much cooler look to it overall. But yeah, it looks dope, it looks dope. So that's LCI. Pre LCI, LCI. So we still have coating to do before we like turn on the car or anything. I'm gonna go ahead and work on the other side, same process, and then we'll get into the coating. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys the right side because on the website, they didn't really show the right side pin connector. They only showed the left one. So I kind of figured it out. The pins, the way this orientation works is when the lock is facing that way, this little purple lock is facing that way and it's upside down like this, the plug. Your orientation is six over here to one over here. So six, you have yellow and gray. Five, you have blue and gray. And then four, you have gray and black. Three, you have brown. Two, you have black gray. And then one, you have gray pink. So that's the correct orientation. I obviously have a few more wires because I am running my third brake light diffuser. And so the way that I have that set up, all of these splices stay the same because they do the same functions. But I do, however, have my red, which is the power, going into the brake light from before. So I'm gonna try it like this for right now and see if it works with the brake light because I wanna make sure that my diffuser light still works. And then if it works, we're all good. We can just put it back together and go into coating. All right, so I tested it out with the brake light diffuser. The wiring that I currently have works, so we're good. We're gonna go ahead and put in the new LCI tail light on the right side, and then we're done. We're done with most of the install, then we just need to hop into the coating. All of the stuff up here, this is warm and cold monitoring and changing the parameters to LED. So I will hop into Beamer Code and show you guys what you need to do, but I actually already coded all of this. I have all of my warm and cold monitoring off, and then I have all my bulbs switched to LEDs, which you'll need to do if you're gonna run this. Tail light, and then this is mapping, so this is different voltage. We are gonna go ahead and code that in just to be safe as well, but let's go ahead and throw in the LCI tail, and then we'll hop into coding. All right, man, the freshies are in. Freshies. Best feeling ever. <laughs> Uh, these look way better. Oh, I'm stoked on these. All right, so now 
we're gonna hop into the coating portion of these. God, dude, these look way better. Way better than the other ones. I think I'm also gonna do a very, very light tint on these, just so they're a little bit darker. And what that I'll do is just accentuate all of the LEDs and kind of hide all of the darker stuff. But let's see when we unlock it, let's see what happens. Bam, dude. So this camera's funny, it looks orange. They're not, it's not orange, it's super red. Cameras always have a weird way of displaying LEDs. Those little lights, man, that looks so good. All right, so we're gonna hop in the car and handle all the coating stuff. I'm gonna show you how to do it, and then I'll show you all of the functions, show you that it's working. Also, you guys, you'll see that your new six pin plugs come with these extra little rubber pieces that go around the wires when you're connecting them, and then also you get new pins. You don't need to use all that. I just reused the old stuff and plugged it back in, and it was simple. Um, so if you wanna use these, go for it, but you don't have to. All right, you guys, back in the whip. We're gonna use the V-Peak OBD2 adapter. This connects our car to our phone. If you guys want this, there's a discount code in the description as well as a link directly to this adapter that we can use with Beamer codes. We're gonna go ahead and plug this into our OBD2 port. If you guys are unfamiliar with Beamer code at all, I'm gonna link the video right here. Watch that, that'll tell you all about Beamer code. You can code all these cool things in your car. So let's go ahead and plug this in and then fire up Beamer code. We're gonna put the car in accessory mode. So the first thing we wanna do is go ahead and open up Beamer code, hit connect. There's our VPeak OBD check BLE, that is us, connect. And then you're gonna go ahead and select your car, we're obviously in an M2, so that's what we're gonna select. Bam, right there, connect. So like I said before, all of this stuff in the beginning is in your rear electronic module and it has to do with warm and cold monitoring. So I already have all of that coded off. I don't need to mess with any of that, but I will show you where that is in Beamer code. Some of this other stuff, we're gonna have to hop into uh, expert mode for the mapping. The voltage changes that we have here, we're gonna have to hop into expert mode. But that should be relatively simple too. It looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight things that we need to code in expert mode. If I wasn't doing the actual filming, I could probably get this whole thing done in like 15, 20 minutes. It's super, super simple. So the pinning is obviously the most difficult part, but you guys should be able to figure it out. All right, so I'm gonna show you where all of that warm and cold monitoring stuff is. We're gonna hop into rear electronic module, let that load up. So obviously rear electronic module has to do with everything in the back, your trunk, your tail lights, that kind of stuff. All right, so here we are, we're in here. If you guys scroll down, you'll see voltage monitoring, tail lights warm monitoring, not active, not active, and then I have tail lights, lamp, LED. That's what I'm talking about. So all of these need to be not active, not active, not active, and all of the bulb selections need to be on LED. So I already did all mine. I did that a while ago, um, just because when I was doing the diffuser light, I wanted to turn all of that monitoring off. So we're gonna hop right into expert mode because that is the next step for us. Now, if we look on the sheet, 3062 is what we need, which is LC mapping, lamp mapping. And we're looking for mapping underscore Bremsel underscore LPWM. So mapping underscore Bremsel uh, level one. So we'll start with this first one right here. So standard looks like it's at 12 voltage. We need it to be 13.7. So we just change it to 13.7, hop back. And then we do right, which is this one. Same deal, 13.7. And then we go to mapping underscore brake forced, LPWM. So 12.8, we want that at 13.7. PWM, 13.7. Mapping underscore blinker. Where is that at? Here we go. Blinker, HL, PWM. Changing that to 13.7 from 13.8. Look for the right one, right one. Change that to 13.7. That's it for 3062. We're gonna hop in 3063. We're gonna code all of this at once. Uh, mapping underscore nebel Oh, uh, here we go. LPWM, we're changing that to 13.7. And the last one, RPWM level one, 
All right, so we're gonna hit back and then we're gonna go to code in the top right, start coding, and then we'll just go ahead and let it do its thing and it's gonna restart the ECU. And uh, there might be some warnings that pop up, but it's okay, that's part of it. So it looks like all the voltage is changed to 13.7. Ah, I'm excited. Can't wait to see how these look. Coding successful. So now we can go back and disconnect. We're done with Beamer code. All right, so now let's hop out of the car. I'm gonna open up the garage so I don't kill myself with exhaust fumes. I'm gonna turn on the car and show you guys all of the functions with these lights, show you that they do in fact work. I did find the link to the LED bulb that you need for the LCI lights. I will link that as well down below. I already ordered mine off Amazon. So once that gets here, I'll just throw in the LED like I had in my pre-LCI lights and it'll 100% be LED. It's kind of funny that they don't put an LED bulb in the LCI lights for the reverse lights. It's halogen, but whatever. All right, so here are the brake lights. So that was everything. They work. No codes on the dash. Looks super clean, dude. It's so weird looking at through the lens because like on the camera, they look like orangish yellow right here. They're not. In person, it's just red. So weird. But yeah, these look way cleaner. Way cleaner. I'll show you guys on the dash. No lights. That's just because my door is open. But obviously, no codes being thrown. Everything is good. And yeah, that's it, man. Worked out super well. So easy. Just a much cleaner setup overall. I love them. Ooh, I love them. Like I said, you guys, it was a really, really easy install. If I wasn't filming and everything, it probably took like 20 minutes to do everything, including the coding. It's very, very simple. I'm gonna go ahead and link everything that I bought, everything that I used, all of the stuff down below. That should help you out, the forum and everything. All the instructions are there. Hopefully this video helped you out a little bit, especially in the pinout process, that's probably like the most difficult part. But check the links down below. It should help you out if you're doing this conversion. Like I said before, I may tint these. Actually, after this video, we're gonna be making another video where Andres is getting his car tinted out. And then I'm gonna go down to Sensational as well. And I might actually go ahead and put like a light tint on these. But first impressions, these ones look 10 times better. I know in the video it comes out like orange and yellow they are not they're just pure red that's just the camera trying to pick up the leds hopefully this video brought some value to you guys if you are in fact doing the lci conversion i strongly suggest you do it it's not that expensive and it looks 10 times better anyways thank you guys so much for watching the video please do subscribe comment down below like this video hit that bell notification just like that this video is over and we're out peace